Hi, Anastasia. Hi, nice to meet you again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for coming again. Mm, thank you for inviting me. Today, I want to ask you about cultural differences between Russia and Japan. How do you think about uh, people's personalities uh, uh, about Russia and uh, Japanese people? Yeah, uh, sure. So, if talk about difference between uh, Russian and uh, Japanese people, I'm so sorry. It's okay. So, uh, I think Japanese people, they are more polite than Russian people. I can explain why. Like, uh, for example, service, you know, like uh, usually customers, yeah, they provide you really perfect uh, service. They will smile for you, uh, they will be friendly, you know, they will be polite for sure. Everywhere, like in supermarket, in restaurant, in um, even on the street. But in Russia, you can go, for example, to supermarket and you can uh, understand that this person, for example, just cashier, like he had a bad day, you know, and he will uh, serve you with a grumpy face, you know, he won't smile for you, this person. And uh, actually, I think it's inappropriate, like because you don't need to know like what happened in this uh, with this person's life, right? So, I think this is the first thing. But uh, the common thing between Russian and uh, Japanese people that uh, we are kind, you know? Like here, I was never faced with uh, discrimination or with um, assault or with offensive things. So mostly people, they are open for you to help you. If you got lost, if you need help, you know, if you barely uh, speak Japanese well, so they are always open, you know. So the hospitality is amazing. So it, it made really uh, amazing impression for me. Mm. So that, this is the first. <laughs> Could you tell me the, about the story, uh, the stranger? Ah, so yeah, really amazing story happened to me. Uh, for example, in Russia, you can cry in front of people. They won't really care, you know. Of course, they will look at you, but they won't help you somehow. They just will understand, like, yeah, probably something happened to her, but it's not our business, you know. But here, like actually I was walking here and uh, I was crying because I was really upset because of some uh, circumstances. And uh, like stranger, Japanese girl, like the same age, she approached me and she asked uh, me for like, she offered her help. So, and we talked for a while even uh, my Japanese wasn't good enough for that, but uh, she did care about me, that I was crying and she wanted to help. It's uh, unusual in Russia, you know, usually people, they try to avoid if they see this, uh, someone's misery. Mm, so this story was really impressive for me and uh, she helped me out. Actually, she helped me to survive and uh, outlive uh, this um, accident about uh, I cried. So it was really impressive for me because I know like Japanese people, they are shy yeah. and especially they want to help a stranger, you know, because they think like, oh, probably she doesn't know Japanese or I don't know English, but she wanted to help anyway and uh, she helped me and uh, you became friends yeah we became friends yeah and uh, yeah we saw each other for like once a month mm -mm -mm. Nice, nice. so yeah she's really kind one I see. how do you make friends in japan mm, like with japanese or with the foreign uh, people Mm, you know, I can. Uh, sometimes you can do that, like in uh, nomikai. 
Yeah, it's really interesting way. So it's a really interesting part about Japanese culture. Yeah. Uh, also, it's like real friends, you know. Or I can just meet my uh, potential friends on the street, you oh. know. Especially in Shibuya, you know. You can just walk in Shibuya and you can meet uh, friends, you know. But uh, it's hard to become become friends actually you need more time you need to talk more mm. so but it's it's always like friend of friend of friend of friend it's like a line so I see. so as you said uh, Japanese are shy yeah. and uh, I agree with that yeah yeah so yeah this is also a really big difference between uh, Japanese and uh, Russian people Japanese people, they are shy and they won't tell you what they actually think about you. Never. Like, uh, you could think like, oh, this person probably likes me, when he actually doesn't, you know, but he won't uh, show you that. So this is the thing, like, Russian people, I can't say like, uh, we will show, you know, like, we don't uh, approach a person and like, I don't like you, you know, we don't do that, but we will show that by, by our behavior, you know? So the person will understand, like, oh, probably we are not in really good terms. You know, Japanese people, they treat everyone uh, like the same way, you know? So they are always polite, they are always friendly, you know? Even if Japanese person hates you, you won't, like, uh, understand that never, you know? Russian people, we think like uh, we have this feature, we are honest, you know, like our honesty. And uh, if I don't like this person, you know, like at least I won't be in the same company, you know, with this person. Because I don't want to like force myself to be next to this person, you know, I just will leave. And this this how this person will realize, like probably it's because of me, you know. I don't know, is it a good thing or not? Because uh, Japanese people, they were overwhelmed when they, you know, I could say, like, we could uh, be in the restaurant, you know, together. And I could say, like, oh, you know, I'm tired. I want to go home. The first time, like, uh, it was a Japanese man, and he was so surprised. He said, like, oh, you said it so straightly, you know? Like, and I said, like, why it's nothing uh, like amazing about that but he said like you are so honest usually Japanese girls they could say uh, like oh you know I have some some things to do so they will uh, excuse you know like you are at the same time you just said uh, the real reason you know you just I could also say I'm bored I want to go home you know I'm tired I'm bored whatever you know, because I think it's no point to pretend like you enjoy the talk or you enjoy meeting, you know. This is our thing. We, we prefer to say uh, like things straightly, you know. Don't hide, don't pretend, you know. So this is a really big difference. That's why for me it's hard to understand Japanese people, you know. I can, I can think like, oh, Probably they like me. Maybe they don't. You know, you will never understand. You are so mysterious to me. <laughs> yeah. 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 So sometimes it is difficult to understand Japanese people's real feeling or emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hide them. You know, your real thoughts and feelings. So it's hard to understand. For me, for example. Yeah. Right. Even for Japanese. Yeah, we we feel difficulty to understand their yeah. feel, real feelings. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So thank you for your time. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, yeah. See you again. See you. Bye.